It's not often that you're gonna catch me without a pair of sunglasses. I'm a little bit light sensitive. It's just something that happens. I know most people with light eyes are supposed to be the ones that are light sensitive. I'm just sensitive to, it just kind of bothers me, the brightness a little bit. So I'm always rocking shades. Not to mention they're a beautiful fashion accessory that I absolutely enjoy and slightly obsessed with with over a hundred pair of sunglasses from different spectrums of price points that listen, I like a variety. I like a different look and I like to stand out from the rest. And I feel that sunglasses are wardrobe accessories that can really set you apart. You don't have to break the bank, but you can spend good money on quality sunglasses like these James Oro. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can show you the three pieces James Oro sent me so you guys can feel the vibes. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I've been rocking James Oro shades for a minute because they're in a real comfortable sunglass price point. Quality is there. Designs are there. Stability and look factor and just heft. Like it doesn't feel you have a cheap pair of sunglasses on your face. And I do have pairs of cheap sunglasses that feel cheap but may look aesthetically dope, but in about 10 seconds, they'll just absolutely fall apart. Now these three pieces are part of a new release alert, are kind of what I like to call the black edition. It's three different shapes, all black frames that really have that stealth, sleek, sexy look that you can dress up or dress down, swag it up or swag it out. The first frames I'm gonna show you, the ones I'm currently wearing, and these are the brand new icons with the new James Oro logo, on the side, they have a nice thick profile. They're about 51 by 23. They have a nice squared off frame, a little bit on the wider side, which I do like, which gives you a nice accentuation and gives you a little bit of a flare on the outside. And if you have a little bit of a wide face, it'll fill it out really nicely. But look at the detail. The new logo looks fire as fuck clean as shades and you can see they have a little bit of a clear edge there kind of giving it a see-through type look if you see the back extremely well constructed great frames and not only are they great frames but they protect the sun like a motherfucker as a matter of fact this is black as shit you like to wear sunglasses sometimes at night i am that cornball dude and these look kind of fly so it's about the details i like the details in the frames you see the old new logo etched in the corner this little detail here this kind of like cross symbolish again very sleek very sexy again has a little bit of a flare on the side gives you a nice profile you can flex it up, flex it out. Damn, are we doing eye profiles now? These are super fly. These are honestly the ones I've been wearing the most and I've been getting a couple compliments on them, not gonna lie. I know they seem like traditional black shades, but the devil's in the details. When you look at things closely, people are kind of intrigued, especially when they see some sort of emblem or hallmark that they've never seen before. It does catch attention. Now let's go to the next one. Now I'm gonna give you a full presentation look if you haven't seen James Oro shades before. This is how the box comes in with their new logo. James O right there. These are the black armors and these are $135. They're black. So when you do is you comes in a sleeve, slide the sleeve off. And then you got the box, also a slider box. Inside of the box, you got the polished cloth. And then the James Oro, I don't know if this is like a certificate of authenticity. I've actually never opened this shit to be honest with you. I don't know what it is. Oh, two year warranty. So the shades have a two year warranty that includes purchase product, is it free manufacturer defects or whatever. All right, you can read it when you decide to buy it. So there's a two year warranty in here, limited warranty. I'm not 100% sure. Here's the case, nice leather case, flip case. It is collapsible. So when you take out your shades, they come in their own little carry pouch. Pop open the carry pouch. We pull them out. The shades are protected as well as the stems. Take the stem off, you slide off the sleeve, and these are the armors. Black armor, St. James Oro logo, only different shape. This is definitely for that Migos type look, that funky rapper, the dude with dreads, who's very super fashion forward, that really has that style that I don't have at all. Now these are a little bit on the wider side as well. These are about 54 by 19s, and even though it's not my style per se, I'm feeling kind of swaggy. These actually look super fly on my shorty. 
I mean, I don't look that bad in it. I kind of got a sunglass face adjacent. But you can see here, beautiful side profile, unique shape on the lens, gives you kind of that Bad Bunny meets J Balvin meets everybody that I'm not. Fashion forward, again, blocks out all the fucking light that you can imagine. These are just dark as shit. Perfect shades to be out in the sun all day because I never gotten any issues with these full black frames as far as sun bothering me and these, I never have any issue. Again, these are stylistic. These aren't prescription based or whatever, but they do handle prescriptions and do all that. What do you think of these joints? Are these your type of vibes? At a price point of like 130 to 160 bucks, it's not too bad considering you spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a pair of Gucci shades that, well, that the quality can go every which way. And trust me, I got a few pair of those too. Next one. And the last shades I'm gonna show you are called the Black Titans. Again, same full presentation. We don't gotta go through that whole spiel and gamut. And they're all from the same lineup, so they'll have similarities in stems and stuff like that. It's more of the frame shaping that separates each shade. It all keeps consistent with the entire lineup. So you want synergy when you're creating or designing an entire line that's all very cohesive. You want little details here and there that separates it for that particular person. They're not anticipating that one one person is going to buy the entire lineup unless you're a sunglass whore like I am. They're just cultivating a collection for that individual who's looking for that perfect pair of black sunnies. Just like the woman has their perfect black cocktail dress, dudes gotta have their perfect pair of all black shades. These are the Titans. So this one has kind of like a beveled front edge, still squared off, but has that beveled edge to it. Same details, these are 54 by 21s. These are super fly as well. Let's take a look at how fucking delicious these joints are. Super fly. I feel like one of the Cali dudes back in the day in like a Snoop Dogg video and shit, like head of security, but with like mantids. And another very simple kind of basic feature that most people don't care about, when you get a tight cut like me or you're a baldy and you start sweating, your head becomes a little slippery, right? So one of the cool things that this joint has is like these little ridges. I don't know if you guys can see them there. They have ridges here to kind of provide a little bit of a tight grip on it. So you can pretty much shake your fucking head all over and they're not gonna fall out like these shits. You know what I'm saying? Like, they not going nowhere. Super fashion forward, beautiful designs. They're also dropping these joints, I believe in clear also. And James Oro supports the channel, so I support James Oro. I hope the team of James Oro keeps up the fly ass designs because I got a few pair of shades here that can compete with some of my five, six, seven thousand dollar shades. So at an affordable price, great quality, beautiful aesthetic, and the dude cares about his designs. Let me know what you guys think of these shades and which one you think is more of your style. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. So it's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>